Good morning students. Welcome to the next lecture of Biomedical Engineering. We are discussing the concept of shock hazards from the electrical equipment. So today our concept is shock hazard from the different types of electrical equipment. Let us see. So coming to that, what is meant by shock hazard? So in the previous class we have seen uh, when an electric current which is passed through the human body more than one second or the, with the duration of one second what happened to the human body we have seen so if the current is passed through the human body with the range of 10 milliampers or 100 milliampers or 1 ampere or 10 amperes then different types of currents which is passed through the human body it may be caused to the uh, physical injury maybe it is caused to the uh, burning of the uh, different types of human physiological systems or it may be caused to the explosion of uh, different types of uh, problems. So coming to here, the main hazard of the working with this electric current or electricity are the first one electric shock and burns from the contact with the light pulse. So wherever the electrical shock will be generated at that place, at that place particularly whichever the living organism or living body or patient who, 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 who are the contact with that electrical shock lines they their body parts going to be burn their body parts are going to be burn or uh, cause to some physical injury so second point so the second point only tells that about physical injury injury from the exposure to uh, arcing pipe from faulty electrical equipment or insulations due to some faulty electrical equipment are due to uh, uninsulated electrical wires may be caused to uh, burn the human body parts. So whenever the uh, most of the uh, these electrical equipment we are discussing with the applications of the hospitals okay but we can say in the general area also but here the problem is that we have to design the system perfectly then only we can avoid then only we can avoid this type of electrical accidents. And coming to the last situation, that is explosion, it may be caused by unsuitable electrical operators or static electricity igniting flammable vapors or dust, for example, in the spray paint booth. So coming to that, uh, there may be a chance of getting explosions. So some of the different types of uh, non-electrical things uh, may be caused sprays. Some of the petroleum product contaminated sprays may be caused to explode the situation which will be happened at the nearer to the electrical accidents. So in the today's in the today technology, in the today's world we are seeing so many electrical accidents which is caused to loss of a lot of people's life. Most of the hospitals they are taking a lot of care but even though some of the small uh, malfunctions uh, or small mistakes may be caused to uh, loss a lot of uh, um, health point of view and wealth point of view we are getting a lot of losses okay so so many lives so many patients uh, they are going to die uh, with this type of electrical accidents so we have to design the systems perfectly Right. Let us see uh, how these hospital structures are available and how these electrical accidents or sh shock hazards will be there from the electrical equipment. So this is the picture which explains uh, in the generalized way of a hospital power distribution system. So this is the picture which will give the details about the hospital uh, power systems. So coming to here. So this is the major transformer which is uh, supplies uh, the total electrical power to the hospital. Okay, so from this transformer, so see here, this transformer is connected to 4800 volts, nearly 4.8 kV supply which will be there from the uh, electrical power distribution system that will collect uh, uh, from the hospital electrical department. Uh, so the, at the entrance of the electrical, uh, uh, generally this electrical power distribution system so we are placing underground of the of the uh, total hospital. So at that place they are keeping a transformer. This transformer which will take uh, 4,800 volts uh, uh, volts of uh, supply, and this this is uh, completely uh, connected with the ground uh, attached systems. So grounding is very very important. And 
uh, this transformer is connected with a circuit breaker. If is there any power fluctuation problems, or is there any electrical accidents, or is there any ethno problems, those are all the problems will be connected to this circuit breaker. So we have very 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 the chances that jo causes to the bigger big size of accidents at that place the circuit breakers will help to reduce the severity of that accidents so the circuit breaker from the circuit breaker we are we are providing an insulating type of paths for transmitting this power supply lines to the different parts of the hospital places so this is the socket which we are representing okay right so this type of sockets were providing in the entire hospital at the different places but here coming to that we have to distribute the sufficient electrical line system to the all the parts of the hospitals okay how we are distributing this electrical power system in the hospital that we will see in the coming classes in this class we will see some of the shock hazards so this is the generalized hospital electrical power distribution system now coming to here uh, the, this is also nothing but as the hospital electrical power distribution system transformer which is connected to the ground uh, this is one part of the previous picture right the hospital electric power distribution system gets power in supplies of kbs usually through underground cables through the underground cables so this is a very important one this underground cables are the very safety uh, uh, parameter uh, we are providing with very high safety parameters so if the underground cables are not uh, planned perfectly then there may be a chance of electrical accidents and we have to provide these cables uh, uh, which are not absorbing the moisture or humidity behaviors that is, these are the very very important the step on transformer in the building gives three phase voltage of 415 volts 50 hz supply generally for the hospitals we are providing three phase supply uh, for the uh, commercial purpose uh, in the for the hospital three phase supply for the home purpose uh, where uh, the government is providing single phase supply so the three phase supply we are providing the three phase supply with a range of 415 volts and uh, the same frequency which we are using for 230 volts for the home purpose the same frequency we are supplying here 50 hz okay for 30 volts 50 hz uh, supply we are providing next the single phase supply is 230 volts 50 hz for the most of the equipment generally uh, this 415 volts we are providing for heavy machinery 230 volts for the normal uh, uh, supply for all the equipments uh, these two type of supplies we are providing in the hospitals okay most of the equipments are running with 230 volts some of the equipments they are running with 415 volts the supply has one live conductor and other neutral as shown in the figure so see here here we have two types of wires here we have two types of wires in these two types of wires the first one is the line conductor and the second one is the neutral conductor so these are the two conductors that is phase one one is phase and the other one is neutral in generally in our language okay for the ac supplies next the conductors are connected to the earth to bypass the any electrical power leakages so where we this cables we are providing at that place we are providing this all the cable boxes uh, to the grounding if the grounding is not done perfectly then there may be chances of getting electrical accidents next a person must come in contact with the both live and neutral conductors simultaneously or with the both live conductors of 230 volt circuit for an electrical micro shock hazard so in the previous classes we discussed about micro shock and macro shock micro shock and macro shock where the micro shock which is caused uh, to the damage of the internal organs uh, which are the uh, phase and neutral wires are connected uh, to the internally the body for mic micro shocks we are coming to the macro shocks these electrical wires are connected to the body surface to the body external surface okay these two contacts coming into the external body contacts for the macro shock we are coming to the micro shock these two type of conductors who are coming uh, one one conductor is coming to the contact with internally to the body that is about micro shocks 
Okay, right. If the neural, if the neutral wire is connected to the earth, the same shock hazard exists between the live wire and any conductive object which is in the way of connected to earth. So wherever the neutral wire is connected to the ground, so the neutral wire uh, in the path of this grounding path, wherever the conductor, which is conductor, it may be caused to from the human body, it may be caused to the conductor. This may be if uh, these two are coming to the contact with this uh, neutral wire, automatically the shock will be uh, happen to that uh, patient body or maybe any other contacts or conductors of the system. Okay, right. Next. So, coming to here, insulation breakdown where and mechanical damage may be caused in such situations. If the neutral wire which is connected to the different types of bodies or due to the different types of uh, uh, systems, they are going to be breakdown or they are going to be mechanical failures or they may be caused to some uh, unexpected exposure uh, situations. Room radiators, water pipes or metallic building structure may become live accidentally. Room radiators and water pipes and metallic building structures may become live accidentally. So these are the reasons also called, uh, these, are the, these are the reasons are also caused to uh, cause the accidents, live accidents. In design, great care is taken. So here this is very important. When the medical equipment are designing, when this power distribution systems are designing, so the most important one is care. Great care is taken such that the person is not exposed to live wires by choosing proper insulation distances between conductors of the equipment. So wherever the greatest care we are taking for the uh, distribution of this power distribution uh, power systems or uh, maybe electrical equipment or electronic equipment, then we can reduce the electrical accidents uh, from these uh, shock hazards. So this is one of the situation which is caused uh, uh, to the uh, 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 proper, not proper uh, grounding. So in this case we are not provided any grounding for the uh, patients. Okay, in this case, so here we are provided a phase in neutral, only phase in neutral we have provided. So through the phase the current is passed through the equipment and to the neutral line the current is coming back to this uh, uh, to the power distribution system. So here if any electrical leakage is there from the conductor right or through the neutral right, this leakage current will be passed through the this box, through the this box. So see here, this is the outer box, this is the outer box of the patient. If is there any problem or any leakage in the electrical circuits, the electrical current may be passed through this electrical box. So whenever the human body, wherever the patient or whenever the person who, who is going to be touch this box, so he may be caused to for the electrical accidents. Why? Because the leakage electrical current, so whatever the current we are giving, we are, we are taking from the power supply system, all these power supply systems are uh, closing with this uh, uh, grounding network. The neutral wire we are connected to the ground. If any leakages is there for the equipment, these leakages are transmitted through this box, through this box. From, from this box, when you are, when you are, when the person is uh, going to touch this box, right, the electrical leakage will be transferred through the human body and through the human body, these electrical powers are discharged to, to the ground. Then only that electrical uh, accidents are going to happen. In this situation, the human body, the, the machine using as in a conductor wire. Okay. So see here, when the electricity is passing through the human body, right, when the electricity is passing through the human body, for that answer is, if the resistance is very less with compared to the neutral wire, okay, where the, for the electrical leakage supply, the, the, the leakage current has to be grounded. 
but there is no chance to ground. Here we are providing the human body is basically a conductive type element. So when you are touching that electrical box, the electrical current is grounding through our human body. So when it is passed through our human body, then we are getting a electrical shock. Okay. So this this type of generally electrical shocks are called macro shocks. This type of electrical shocks are called macro shocks. And coming to that. Uh, uh, we can see that uh, in theoretically with the definition, a defect in the equipment has caused a shock between the hardware of the line cord and the equipment case. Placing the case at a potential of 115 volts AC, 115 volts AC with respect to the ground. A user whose body is in contact with the ground will be placed. So, whichever the patient is connected to the ground, that patient body is get a electrical shock from this uh, uh, situation. So, it is very simple thing. Due to any fault, due to any fault from the uh, machines or boxes, they may be caused to the electrical accidents of the human body. Okay. So, this is a uh, one more situation, with this situation we can see, so he is uh, operating one uh, device, when the electrical leakages are passing through the human body, the patient is going to be uh, getting the electrical accidents with micro shock. So, if the proper grounding, grounding is not available, then, then the patient is going to be, <coughs> then the patient is going to be shocked. So, uh, when he is operating, he, he is, uh, his equipment is connected with uh, only neutral correction and line conductor. But if he is there, generally the electrical leakage will be there every equipment. But the leakages we have to make the ground. That means we have to show this is the grounding path. Like that we have to show. If you are not showing, then it will take your body as the grounding path. Okay. So, for that reason. So, generally, here we have phase and neutral wire. In the socket, we have to provide the third one that is the grounding wire. The grounding wire also we have to provide. Okay. So, in the different countries, uh, they are using different types of uh, uh, flux box systems. So, see here, these are the sockets. 3 pin sockets, 3 pin, 3 pin, 3 pin, different types of uh, 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 countries are using 3 pin sockets like this. Okay. Except to this one. Except this one, all the remaining has uh, some ground connectivity. Okay, so here we have three pins, three pins, three pins, three pins. This one also three pins, three pins, three. Uh, this is also two pins only. Three pins, three pins. Uh, it, this is also two pins. This is also three pins. So these are the different types of countries uh, which are following uh, uh, three uh, three socket terminals or two socket terminals. Okay. Okay, in the next class we will see how to avoid these shock hazards, how to avoid shock hazard. Uh, I said that we have to take uh, a great care. Which type of care we have to take? Okay, which type of care we have to take to eliminate these shock hazards or to eliminate this electrical accident. How to eliminate these electrical accidents we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.